All right, well, this is up to the minute. I've got the official MTG headquarters spoiler for Modern Masters 2017, and that is Voice of Resurgence. Very, very solid reprint. I was expecting this to drop tonight, but I wanted to make sure that's what it was before I took any public guesses so you guys couldn't all ridicule me for being wrong. Happy to see the reprint there. Foil versions of this card are quite spendy. Modern Masters 2017, looking good. Let's get into the rest of the spoilers. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, guys? What is going on, everyone? Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters. Going through today's crazy spoilers. Now, I wanted to publish this video around 7 o'clock, but as you may know, I had to blast some ass. So I did that first, and now it has allowed me to collect my thoughts on some of the various reprints we saw today. I want to start with the Mythics. We have Crater Hoof Behemoth. 8-drop, 5-5, five, five, Haster. Very, very happy to see this card reprinted. We also got Entreat the Angels. Again, uh, makes sense with the Miracle Cycle. Uh, you know, I don't... I assume it's played somewhere, but nonetheless, it'll definitely be a fun card to draft. Uh, we also had, late last night, Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Just when I said that they weren't reprinting any Mythics of Value, I got punch right in the eyeball with like a 30 40 dollar linvala and those foil versions will definitely be heavily sought after today we also got past in flames a seven a seven drop a four drop um reprint I, I i understand why it's at mythic happy to see it um i'm sure some people are very happy to see it reprinted we also saw sphinx sphinx's revelation remember the the, how this card dominated Standard. Uh, that was a fun time to be watching Standard. Um, and uh, I'm happy to see it back here in a limited environment. And certainly, uh, I think giving it, you know, keeping it at Mythic makes total sense. There's also, I think, one more Mythic coming tonight, which I will append to this video. But of course, we have to talk about the biggest non-news reprint of the set and that is Liliana of the Vale. Yes, Wizards of the Coast has done it. The Mythics in Modern Masters 2017 look great. I don't know what else I could have expected. Certainly more value is always better, but I felt like even with the fetch lands, this set was going to feel a little disappointing if we didn't get the Liliana reprint, uh, especially because we knew that she needed to get reprinted, and so um, I figured, why not? Uh, or it makes sense that they would kind of drag her out a little bit, get people talking. I also think maybe they didn't put her on the pack art because they wanted to slow roll it. Let's talk about some of the rares that came out today. All I think, you know, real recognized real. I have to be honest and fair that uh, Wizards of the Coast... It looks like they did a great job on the set. It's more of the high value reprints keep coming out. I think the collector in me is really appreciating them. But also, as I've seen kind of the draft format come together, I'm actually pretty excited to draft this. Uh, I really wish it wasn't $40 drafts because that just means not everyone's going to be able to even afford to draft this. Or if the you know, $30, $40 price tag is a lot, it will still put a lot of pressure on people. Uh, to do well or pick cards of value over picks uh, that make sense for your deck, and that's kind of an awkward position. But you know, you can't. It can't just be. It can't be all things to everyone. Definitely one of the most notable reprints at rare comes late night, and we have Blood Moon reprinted at rare. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast. This should help weather the cost of this card, make it more widely available. Good on you, goody goody. Wizards of the Coast. So I want to start with Abrupt Decay. Very solid reprint. Another possible uh, foil version of Abrupt Decay being out there is good. We had Basilisk Collar. A one drop um, that gives your creature Death Touch and Lifelink. Uh, very, very strong. Uh, understandable why, uh, of course, that is at rare. Then we have Death's Shadow reprinted. Very fun card. 
an extractor demon, six mana, five, five, uh, with unearth, kind of a fun older ability. Definitely happy to see this card. It, it feels, it's, you know, these rares are really making this modern masters set feel unique and feel, um, like, you know, uniquely its own set. And uh, I appreciate that. We also saw Falconroth Aristocrat. Again, this is one of those cards that maybe doesn't necessarily fit, although we'll have to see more of the set to know if there's some sort of vampires. But nonetheless, Falconroth Aristocrat is a decent reprint. Again, more foil versions of this is good. We have Gifts Ungiven. Um, fine, you know, uh, definitely all very well-known cards. Phantasmal Image, we saw spoiled today. Pyromancer Ascension. I, I don't, I didn't think this card was super familiar to me at first. Um, but, you know, whenever an instant or sorcery spell that has the same name as a card in your graveyard, uh, you may put a quest counter on it whenever you cast, I'm sorry. And, um, and if it ever has two or more quest counters on it, you may copy that spell. Definitely going to be fun. I don't know if that works great in the draft environment, but uh, certainly I'm sure Commander players love this card, and it's probably played in some decks that I just don't know about. Uh, we also saw Seance reprinted, four mana enchantment, and finally Terminus. Uh, I, I don't want to cover every single card that's reprinted. Uh, that's just not my game. I, I have to be true to myself, and, and me being true to myself is speaking directly about rares and mythics that I am like turned on by. That makes my little beard warm up and jostle around a little bit as it thinks about opening these cards. I have to give credit uh, where credit is due again to Wizards. I did so publicly on Twitter today. And uh, not that they watch my Twitter for anything but uh, potential hate speech or thought crimes. But you, it, there's very few people who are more critical of Wizards of the Coast than I am, at least publicly. And if you're going to be that critical, you have to be self-aware. And you have to say that Wizards appear to do a really good job with the set. Now, all that remains to be seen is supply. And I've been hearing a lot of rumors, certainly, about the supply being very strong but also that they were going to print a demand or something like that. If either one of those things are true, then this set's a home run. Uh, I want to see people get the enemy fetch lands at a reasonable price. I want people to get their Liliana's of the Veil for $30 to $40 or less instead of $100. You know, there's a lot of cards like that, and that's why these modern master sets are so important. And so kudos to Wizards of the Coast. What I want to know is, what is missing that you want to see reprinted? I mean, is there going to be a Kitchen Finks or, you know, how many more crazy valuable uncommons have there to be before the set is bananas? Again, I will say there are lots of boxes available at or below MSRP. So still don't overpay. I suspect the rumors about the print run are true. Otherwise, we would have already seen prices spiking up. I have orders placed on ebay with two different vendors neither one of them have canceled them so i don't suspect this to rocket up in the next week uh past the point of no return so i think with this much out definitely feel safe paying anything below msrp for this set and draft it and have fun i hope you enjoyed this video if you want me to keep covering spoilers please let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to stay away from them after kind of the big splashy ones are out i'm fine doing that as well I hope you enjoyed this video. We did three uploads today, so please, if you missed any, go back. I did a ass blasting video, and then actually episode three of the podcast came out today. So lots of content for you to check out, even if you didn't get it all in today. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll talk to you again real soon.